Hello, my teacher friends, and welcome to your video for today. First of all, don't let the word drawing in the title of this video scare you. You do not need to be an artist to enjoy today's practice. The action of drawing and turning our thoughts into pictures on paper can be a therapeutic way to relax and process the stress in our mind and help us transform that stress into a more positive state of mind. So take a second to grab a piece of paper and some colorful drawing tools, or even just a pencil if that's your style, and let's get started. Before we start drawing, first things first, this practice is all about the process and not the product. Try to ready yourself to release any perfectionism or judgment about the drawings you create. Instead, focus on how your body feels and what thoughts arise as you go through the motions of your drawing. Now that we're getting in the right mindset, go ahead and fold or draw lines to divide your paper into four sections. I'm going to give you directions on what to do in each section and show you an example, but really you can make your drawings whatever you want. In the first section, we're going to clear our minds and through mindless drawing, we're going to take our writing utensil and we're just gonna doodle circles over and over again with the only goal being to fill the space. Ready, go. In the next section, we're going to address what gets in our way as educators from taking care of ourselves or what interferes with our wellness. Whatever this looks like to you, go ahead and draw it now. Next, we're going to draw what self-care looks like to you and how you practice listening to yourself. Ready, go. Finally, draw a representation of what ideal mental health looks like to you and how it exists in your body.
Welcome back. This is an exercise you can do anytime you need to take a minute to clear your head and just reconnect to yourself. I hope it brought up feelings of calm for you, but remember that we're all different and some practices may work for some and not for others, and that's okay. Just keep an open mind and keep looking for little ways that can help you take care of yourself during the school day. And let us know in the comments how this practice made you feel.